Hello everybody, AVT here, and I am back with another video for Star Wars Galaxies Legends, and today we're going to do something a little bit exciting. I have just hit level 90 on my commando, so I was going to go through and show you what I consider to be the best um, endgame PvE commando build, because we're not really going to be PvPing for quite some time, because we're going to need PvE to get the materials we need to PvP. So, now that we've hit level 90, the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to res reset my expertise because I'm going to be converting over to heavy weapons. So, what I've done here is I've gone through and I make sure I have a blank toolbar up because as I select these new abilities, they're going to populate a toolbar and I'm incredibly lazy and I don't like to remove them, so I'm just going to leave toolbar number 6 completely cluttered with crap all over it. It's totally fine. But anyways... Let's talk to the Profession Counselor. We're here in Moss Isley. You can find her right outside the starport. And they're going to ask if you want to change profession or if you want to reset your expertise. So I'm here to reset my expertise. Changing profession will let you change between Commando, Jedi, Bounty Hunter, uh, Medic, Officer, any of the actual classes in the game. I want to reset my expertise. So give it to me for free. That sounds good. I'll take it. So the more you do this, it's going to eat through your free ones, and then it's actually going to start to cost you credits, and it's going to be exponentially increasing if you do it a bunch. So basically, you get a new reset, if you will, or you drop down a tier every single month. So as long as I don't do this again for another month, and then I come back, it won't matter because I'll still have my free resets. Anyways, here we go. So... I'll just walk you through the expertise really quickly and why I choose them this way. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything in the stand fast tree here. Because it's just going to make us incredibly tanky. Um, just stim armor here. And then I'm going to come over here to the assault tab. And I'm going to take the constitution and I'm going to take the precision, which unlocks these next tiers. And then I want focused beam. And then... This is why I consider this to be a PvE build. I'm going to take the position secured tree. Now, if I was doing a PvP build, I wouldn't be taking this tree. But since this is a PvE build, I'm going to take it. It's going to allow us to do a significant amount. Oops, that's right, I need these. It's going to take us a, it's going to allow us to solo a significant amount of PvE content. Now, what we can do here is we could either go lethal beam and take this, which is a great ability. As you can see, it reduces the action cost of heavy weapon and flamethrower attacks by 5% per point, and it adds a 1% chance for passive dot application, which is really good. Or, we can come over here, you can take Riddle Armor with your last 4 points, which I consider to be a little bit more PvP, or you can take You'll Regret That. So, this one right here is highly debated among the community as to whether it's good or not. The issue with it is, right, I mean, it reads the commando's armor increases by 1,000 per point spent if snared, which sounds great, right? But if you have an entertainer buff and you take armor in your entertainer buff, you're going to be touching that 10,000 kinetic and energy armor, which is basically the soft cap for armor. And what I mean by that is every point you get over 10,000 has a diminishing return, and these diminishing returns they kind of devalue the points that you'll spend and you'll regret that. So you'll regret that would be useful if you were going to do like a PvP build and you weren't going to take armor in your entertainer buff because you'd rather have other stats. So just something to consider. I'm going to skip it and I'm actually going to come over here and get lethal beam and then I'm going to put three points in this. And we're going to hit train. Like I said, it's going to, there it is, eat my toolbar with all these new abilities. So now that that's been destroyed, I'm going to come back up here. I can now, where'd it go? Equip my acid launcher. Yes, I want to biolink the weapon. Uh, I never went over this, but biolinking a weapon just means that you're the only person who will ever be able to use this gun now. So there we go, we've got it equipped. And if I hit Y and free up my targeting, as you can see, this is what's considered a free targeting heavy weapon. So I can target anywhere with it, and it's an AoE impact with a splash location and it's going to apply dots or damage over time effects. And that's where the majority of our damage on the commando is going to come from. So really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and lay out my toolbar. We've got our basic um, heavy weapon abilities here, burn down, applies AOE dot effect to all targets around your current target based on your current 
weapons elemental damage type. So I'm going to go ahead. This is just how I like to lay out my toolbar. Of course, please lay yours out however you would like. I need focused beam on here. Um, abilities like this that we were using before, focus fire, we're not going to be able to use anymore because they're specific to rifles and carbines. So we can't use our grenades. We can't use focus fire and sweeping fire. But the trade off in the end, I believe, is really worthwhile. There's our heal. I want it burns, applies a dot effect to your current target based on your current weapon's elemental damage type. I put that here. I just kind of frame my heal with them. Cooldown's incredibly short. Lethal beam will go next. I put my mine down here. Position secured goes over here. Stand fast goes here. And stim armor goes here. I'll actually swap this around a little bit. But there we go. So eh, I'll move this up here too. Why not? It's not very frequently used. I'll put my double time down here. That's really all. The commando does not have a lot of abilities when it comes to using heavy weapons. But let's see if I can find something to shoot at really quickly. Eh, it's not going to matter. Everything here is too low level. I will go ahead and demonstrate uh, the effectiveness of being a heavy weapon commando here shortly. But I just wanted to run you through this really quickly. That right there is what I would consider to be an endgame PvE level 90 commando build. I'll go over what we're going to want in terms of armor and heroic jewelry sets and buff items and everything else that goes into being a level 90 commando in another video. So, as always, I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time.